Europe faced the horrors of two world wars, then the unease during the Cold War, there were heightened nuclear tensions again. Now, once again, it is facing the rising threats of a nuclear trigger. As the dust settles after the Wagner mutiny in Russia, Poland is stepping up its call to join NATO's nuclear sharing program. In connection with Russia's intentions to place tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus, we are increasing appeals to the whole of NATO to take part in the nuclear sharing program. Of course, above all, this is a decision for the Americans. But we do not want to sit back while Vladimir Putin escalates all kinds of threats. The final decision will, of course, depend on our American and NATO partners. We declared our desire for quick action in this regard. Warsaw is watching closely the developments unfolding in Belarus, which is a key ally to Russia's Putin. But why? Russia is deploying its nuclear weapons in Belarus, and that is a point of concern for the entire collective West. The same was also confirmed by the Belarusian president, Alexander Lukashenko. And secondly, the exile of Russia's Wagner Group leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Russian mercenary company who, who was behind an aborted mutiny in Moscow. Moreover, in recent days, satellite images of a military base southeast of the Belarus capital of Minsk appear to show new facilities being set up, suggesting that the swift construction of a base for Wagner is actually underway. Watching this, Poland wants to host U.S. nuclear weapons now. And today, Europe seems to be one diplomatic or strategic misfire away from a nuclear war. Now, this is because the U.S. also has its nuclear weapon sharing agreements with five NATO countries. Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, Italy and Turkey. All these countries host American nukes. And as we know, nuclear weapons are the most deadly weapons ever invented. So no weapon is more destructive than this one, which causes such unspeakable human suffering. And that the threat of it not only looms on Europe, but on everyone around us.